The Inspector General of Government, Betty Olive Namsango Kamia, has raised a red flag over major structure concerns at the Simba Hydroelectric Power Plant in Kayunga District. With my naked eye, the initial opinion is that there are some definitely quality issues, quality in construction uh, issues. I can see that, but I will wait for the engineers to give us a, a report on that, because they will. And, um, but basically, um, uh, the, the chalk is being outside, there are cracks in the building. So there are visible um, quality issues, even to a lay person like myself. During a high-level fact-finding mission to the plant, senior government officials and engineers uncovered alarming defects in the dam spillway, a critical component that controls water flow and determines the lifespan of the dam. The biggest concern we have on the scene is the dam safety concern. Uh, in July, in August 2022, we did the, an underwater inspection that revealed uh, massive concrete erosion for the spillway basin. It is spilling some water, but the longevity. So for, in terms of operation, we are operational, we are generating power. In terms of longevity, that's why we have a concern, because this thing has started to show defects after five years. According to the June 2022 underway diving contractor report, the damage includes severe washouts of buffer blocks, cavities in the bottom slab, and cracks along the spillway joints, all of which pose a serious threat to the dam structural integrity. Since then, the contractor did emergency repairs underwater, but you all know that he doing the reworks underwater, it helps but it's not very effective because the subsequent inspections we did in September and also December last year by the contractor still indicated that uh, the dam spillway concrete continues to be eroded. There are also cracks in the, in the, in the joint seals and uh, that poses a very serious uh, problem but if you have a lot of water leaking in the foundation of the, of the concrete basin, you can have what we call hydraulic jacking. You get the, the concrete slab being lifted up. And if that happens, then you might get a backward erosion that extends to the dam foundation, and that can result in a dam failure. Now, dam failure would really be catastrophic because of the downstream communities, because of the activities that are happening downstream. Engineers warn that if these defects are not urgently repaired, the entire dam risks collapse, especially during heavy rains. The water levels can rise. Now the likelihoods are engineering terms are not put here. But you can wake up one day and this water you see there has tripled. So when we are designing some of these, these, these uh, structures, they are meant to be able to save themselves. And one critical aspect is that speed. You see, so where it stands today, if such an occurrence happened, we are not sure it can do that. And then also, for the, in terms of longevity, we are not sure if it will give the design life. That's why we are working tooth and nail to make sure that it is designed back to its intended specifications so that it can handle even the worst of the scenarios that can happen to it. The contractor China International Water and Electric Corporation is accused of using substandard materials. Despite receiving an extension to address safety concerns, the contractor has allegedly failed to resolve the critical issues. The challenge we have in Simba is that the, the two-year defects liability period expired defects we are still not uh, uh, remedied. We added another two years, the defects were still not corrected. So that is where the problem is. If someone is culpable, the information we have will point that person out and they will take responsibility. We'll always make people take responsibility. 
uh, but for now, um, the petitions were against the quality of work. The quality of work is mainly the contractor's issue. But maybe the problem will be at the time of supervision. Who slept on the job in supervising? Though the dam is currently generating the required electricity, authorities emphasize that a timely decision is crucial to prevent disaster. The Inspectorate of Government says the final report will be ready within three weeks. Charity Marion Imnat and Robert Waiter for UBC News.